blues guitarist Moses Rasko, who moved from the Carolina coast to the Pennsylvania city of York in the late 1930s. Since retiring in the early 1980s, Rasko has turned to music full time and has emerged as one of the Carolina blues' most eloquent spokesmen. Now, babe, I want to scuba do. Baby won't school with do. You hear my honey talking that old school but do do Lord I won't school but do do. I woke up this morning, half past four, by the knocking on my back door. Must my little old sweet mama. Baby won't school but do. Where's her daddy? Baby won't school but do. I know that girl, she been school but do doing. Yes, she been school but do doing. You hear my honey talking that old school but do do. Lord she been school but do do. I swear one of these days won't be long. Call baby God and I'll be gone. Miss your loving sweet papa. Baby from school with nobody else. Baby from school with you. I left home now around 15 years old. Got tired of being bossed around by my daddy. So he could tell you what to do, and if you didn't do what he did, what he said, it was some sad walking, slow talking. Then I got out there, and had a little money in my pocket, started hitchhiking, and taking my guitar along with me. And on the road, you know, there's a lot of little restaurants, little juke joints and stuff on the, traveling through the country. I've been riding long. You see a place, a lot of colored people hanging out around there. Dog owners, I tell them they let me off right here. I want to see what's happening. I run there and things are doing sparkling pretty good. Then I might stay there three or four days. Sometimes I stay there a week. But doggone, I got in one town. I don't even know the name of the town now, and they locked me up for vacancy. Because I had to get, I guess because I had to get tall, but I know one thing. I didn't have enough to pay my fine. Then I got in jail, and they just put the guitar in the cell with me. And that's what I'd come in there later on. That's what I play a couple of pieces. Well, then I learned to play the blues. I played the blues. They didn't want to hear no blues. They, they asked me, could I play some country song, country music? And I said, I can play, <laughs> I can play country blues. And I told them I can't play no hillbilly music. And I was better on the hillbilly than uh, I was with the, uh, with the blues at the time. They turned me loose. But from then on, when I went somewhere, I shipped my guitar. And when I made it back home, I think the last of 37, I made it back home. I hung it up then. Got me a job working in the pulp wood. And then I got the job driving the truck. Then I got in that trouble, and when I got out of there, I worked and made me a little money, and I left there and came up here. And been here ever since. So I go back home. I go back home. I guess there's a whole lot of these people in this world that never had the blues. But it's a, it's a bad feeling. If you done lived them, you done walked them, you done talked them, and then you get around your friends and they talking about the same thing that you were thinking about, now that is the blues. And it's inside of you digging. And Tell you the truth, the longest day I live with will be inside of me digging. Not that I want to hurt anybody. Not that I want to do nothing to nobody. But there's a whole lot of things that I guess it's just not here for me. It's just not here for me. out and I play the blues and I play them and I love them 
and always did love him from a knee high kid on up. I hear somebody playing the blues that would go inside of me. And it stayed there. And sometimes you'd, you'd run into it. That somebody mistreating you or something. And then it gets to boiling, but you see, you don't let it come out. You don't, you don't turn the blues out on me. I wouldn't turn it out on no one. I wouldn't try to give no one the blues. If I could take the blues that I have and, and throw it on, on you, I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want to get rid of it that way. And maybe I will live to get old enough that'll wash away from me. But I'm gonna still play him as long as these fingers are work for me. I'm gonna play the blues. Though now living up north, Many Carolina-born musicians return to the South on a regular basis. They come home for family reunions, church homecomings, and a range of other occasions. You can find more friendly people here and in the place in the world I ever been at. Most I found friends most everywhere I went at, but just when I get out in North Carolina, things seem like everything just, uh, I don't know, it just seem like home again, that's all. On this trip, Moses Rasko stops by to swap some songs with Thomas Burt. Step it up. 
Mommy can't say hello, that's why you got to say that. Me and my baby walking down the street, telling everybody but the chief police they had to us. Mommy can't say hello, that's why you got to say it up. Two old maids playing in the sand. One jumped up, says, I wish you was a man, baby, we could show. Step it up. <laughs> Mommy can't say hello, swear you got to step it up. Anymore.